Welcome back, everybody, to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg, and thank you for joining us. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel and supporting this channel the best you can. With that said, let's get into today's video. So, Jack Del Rio, are we starting to give him a little bit of love? I believe we should. Look at how much that he has really turned this defense around. This defense is playing like a top 10, really a top 5 defense in the last several games. Honestly, in the last half of the season, things have really turned around for this defense. In the first half of the season, it seemed like we were starting to see a little bit of what we saw in, in 2021. A defense that had promise, that had high expectations from how they were in 2020, the kind of, I guess for lack of better terms, really didn't, um, I guess kind of fell short of those expectations somewhat. And then certainly started having uh, injuries to key players like Montez Sweat and certainly Chase Young. And then coming back in this season, starting off, had some difficulties getting to the quarterback. It seemed like in those first five games, about the only guys who were really getting to the quarterback or getting any pressure at all was Jonathan Allen and maybe Deron Payne, but Jonathan Allen seemed like he was the only one that was really fighting his guts out, is what Joe Gibbs would say. And, you know, we were talking about at the beginning of the season, is Montez Sweat even playing? Because... Montez Sweat couldn't even get a sack, not getting much pressure, you know, just just being totally invisible. And then eventually Montez Sweat started getting into it, and then eventually Montez Sweat is Montez Sweat again. Suddenly things started kicking in for that defensive front. Now they're dominant. And then the linebacker core. Of course, Jamie Davis getting called out by Jack Del Rio, and Jack Del Rio certainly slamming him, and rightfully so. He's your number one pick from a year ago. You expect big things. And after that, it lit a, it lit a fire under Jamie Davis. Jamie Davis has since turned his game completely around as well. Cole Holcomb... Of course, leading the defense and tackles being Cole Holcomb. Now, there's some guys who are always, you know, some fans who are going to say, eh, yeah, mm -hmm. he's, he's all right, but we can always use an upgrade. I think Cole Holcomb is a fantastic player. And I think losing him to IR is a huge thing. It's a huge blow to this defense. But despite, I think in some ways it's been a blessing because it's allowed Jamin Davis even further to develop his game. And now, you know, Jamie Davis having to, to be the mic, I think it's it's helped. It's really helped Jamie Davis out a whole lot. Now, certainly, we, we do need Cole Holcomb back. But all in all, we have seen this defense dramatically improve. And you have to give a lot of credit to Jack Del Rio. He has really did a massive amount of, of coaching, um, whether well, it's scheming, whatever it is, he has really, you got to give him a lot of credit because this defense is what's keeping this team in games because quite frankly, the offense, they're going to have to pick it up a little bit. You can't rely on the offense to score you know, a couple of touchdowns a week and expect that to be enough. So far it is because of our defense. But I tell you, um, Jack Del Rio deserves a lot of credit. He really does. Like him or not, I know some people hate him because, because of his politics. You know, this is not a political channel. I will not get into that. But as far as a coach, he, he's a... He's a pretty solid coach, in my opinion. And, you know, 
all of us were getting a little antsy with Jack Del Rio, but I don't think you fired Jack Del Rio. Not at this point. How how could you? How could you even think about firing Jack Del Rio? You only fire him because you don't like him, but you know, as far as his coaching abilities, he's got this defense balling out. And this defense is what could carry this team to, oh, I'm going to say it, the Super Bowl. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.